This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Ooh, what's up, you? Dobbs and Wolves is right here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening. Before we start, please check out our Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And today, we're just going to do one more structure deck for the month, which is a brand new one, as I've been recording this. The structure deck, the Spirit Chamber, cha uh, Charmers. This is what I was expecting to come over here from Japan, because... I really love these Spellcaster cards. I used to play these when I was a child. Sadly, they weren't as good as they are nowadays, but probably with this structure deck, they may be a lot stronger than they used to be. So, with that being said then, let's crack it open and let's see on what we can pull. And let's see what holographic cards are in this set. Oh! Whoa, that's never been done before. Giving us a promo card. Is there anything else in here? Oh, we've got the, um, we do have the play mat. Let's have a look at the play mat really quick. Oh, wow. That looks quite cute and awesome at the same time. Yep, definitely going to keep this definitely intact. Keep it in the box and put it with the rest of the structure decks I've kept for many years to go by. So let's have a look then at this uh, promo card. Oh, wow. No way. Are these all... Wait a minute, I want to have a look at these. Are these the brand new cards? That I've finally got a print. So we've got familiar process... Um, processed, airy. And a token! Oh, wow. The token looks beautiful. Oh, that's so cute. That is super, super cute. They're very nice cards, indeed. A super rare and an ultra. Don't have a clue how much these cards are worth. Like I said, I'll put a price down below to see if there is a price for them. If there is, fantastic. You might get a good few bucks out of, the, out of this deck, unless you want to use it in tournaments. Alright, now let's see if I can open this up this time. I'm hoping I can. There's really no cellophane seal to break through these nowadays. Don't know why, unless they are. They're just very fainty, like this one. I see it now. That is super fady to find the actual to break the seal that's nuts so right at the start here we have ourselves wow that's a very big card and my god i remember this monster oh my god it finally has been evolved we got the oh my god awakening of the possessed uh near for arch fiend wow oh it's all the monsters we got the greater in no fire. We've got the grand spiritual arts Ichirin. We've got spirit charmers. Of course, it's the spell card for them. <gasps> wow! 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 A super rare Regeki. Oh my god. It's about time they brought this thing back. Oh, that's amazing having that as a super rare. Possess partnership. And here we go, we've got the normal cards. Now, really quick though, oh my god. I don't have a clue. I'm sure the prices will pop up right now to see how much these cards are worth. I think the most expensive one, I think, in my eyes, by just by a small glance of chance, has to be the Regeki. 100% has to be the Regeki. Because it's the most number one staple card in all of Jewel Monsters, in all of Yu-Gi-Oh!, Everybody uses it mostly nowadays, unless they, there is a new version of it. Probably Ultra Regeki or something. There's got to be something like that out there somewhere. Unless I'm just making it up as I go along. <laughs> Which I sometimes really do. When I used to be a kid, I used to say that there was a card out there that was super ultra powerful. And it, used to, and it actually destroys all the Egyptian gods. Which was Quite a fact, a lie years ago, but nowadays they've actually made cards like that. So how the hell did I predict that? I do not know. <sighs> right, so we have ourselves the Earth Chamber. These are the cards, the Chamber. These are the cards I do remember. We got Water Ch Charmer, the Fire Charmer, the Wind Charmer. And then we have the Eater of Necrophanus. We got uh, Gaia Bite. We got Nari Fire, which I never actually owned. Or this card either, the Ranryu. Fairy Tale Sleeper, Fairy Tale Rilla, the Luna, 
Wow, the Witchcrafter Golem Aurora. Nice. Dark, of course, pendulums. Witch of the Dark Forest, a Bet Trailer, very nice. Uh, Denko Skia, a Wicked of the Possess. Um, Secret Village of the Spellcasters, that's a good card to use. Spellbook of Knowledge, Transforming, I mean Terraforming. Book of Eclipse, Twin Twister, Dark Wooly No Board, Unpossessed, uh, Earth Art, Water Art, Fire Art, Wind Art, of course. The Metaverse, nice. The, we have the Barrier, which is good, Dimensional Barrier. Solemn Warning, of course, it's a good card. We got ourselves Azura, the Familiar Possessed, the Ari from Familiar Possessed, uh, of course, all the Possessed cards. And we have, of course, some little tiny things there. So we have Dual Links, if you guys like to play online, on the internet, on your uh, Google, your Steam, or your Apple, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's actually a really, really good game. I've not played it for quite some time because I've been too busy, but I have been playing this a lot. Legacy of the Duelist on my Nintendo Switch. Love playing this game. If you guys haven't had a chance to play this game, definitely go ahead and play it. But also, a little tiny advertisement of the new set coming out soon the phantom rage which actually looks really damn good so what do i think about this deck to be honest quite nice it's good to go back to the old classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards and get them a little bit of a makeover with new cards do i think it's going to be a powerful deck i don't think so it's not bad for a starter don't get me wrong it's really good for a starter but for me, I'll probably have to say a pass if you want to try and do it in competitive modes, I think. But some people may have actually pulled it off and actually made a good deck out of it. Because there is some new cards that are out there for these cards, which is of course, which is in Legendary Duelist Season 1 and in Dragon of Legends 2. So, if you guys want to try your hardest to go get them cards and put them in this deck, go on ahead. You might make a very good, good hardcore solid deck. But in my honest opinion, with the cards that you get, if you want to buy three sets of this, which people do to make it cheap, um, it's not bad. I say it's not bad. Probably you could probably get to maybe the quarterfinals with these. I don't know, but either way, I like it. It's a good bit of nostalgia. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today, people. If you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and make sure you check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stopper, and Liverpool. With that being said, the people on Sleek will see you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Not bad though, great deck. We got a new token, we got a Regeki reprint. I think we did not bad with this deck. Well done, Konami, well done. One well, that people like using it for grass. We got a reverse foil, uh, Sterny. Oh. oh my god! Secret Red Next Ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the Ultra Ball for a second, but it ain't. It's the Nest Ball. Oh, baby, wait a minute. The one for the... Uh, did I do... Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh my god!